Hey, can we head back to Tomasa? Gramps still isn't feeling like his old self and I have an idea. Yay, we're home! I'll be in the house, okay? So full of energy. I must be the only one getting old. Grandpa! You gotta come quick. Gungo is hurt. G Gungo? Gungo, hang in there. Who did this to you? It it was Hedon, that legendary beast that you and I used to hunt. Yes, you almost had him too. Hedon! <laughs> Gun ho! Strago, please. Avenge me. <laughs> Grandpa, what are you standing around for? You're right. I grew old and stopped even thinking about pursuing the dreams of my youth. Gung Ho, I'm going after him. Grandpa! I need to face the thing I ran from all these years ago. I need to get the best of it. It's a matter of pride, dear. It's a matter of you being a stubborn old man. You're my grandpa. I can't just sit and watch while you make things harder for yourself than they have to be. I'm sorry, Realm. It means a lot to me know that you care so much. But Hidon's a tough beast to track. Its name comes from the old word for hidden, after all. No one will ever find him if I don't go. To Ebit's Rock! That's it on. I did it! I've really been hidden! I'll have to tell Gong Ho he's been avenged! Gong Ho! Gong Ho! Uh, what's all this fuss? Can't an injured man get some rest? Gung-ho! Listen to me! I defeated Hidden! You... you what? You... you beat Hidden? You're lying! Nope, he's not. He really did it. Oh ho 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 Well, a little monster like Hidden can hardly expect to stand up to the likes of me! 
I can't believe it. But it looks like I have to concede defeat. You showed me up, old man. Oh, oh, oh. By the way, how are your wounds healing, Gung Ho? Uh, who? Oh, oh, my wounds. Uh, y yes, they're, they're, they're fine. So there I was, creeping through those caves that seemed to go on forever. I finally reached the deepest, darkest cavern, and there he is, right in front of me. I stared that ugly brute straight in the eyes, raised my staff, and let him have it! Bam! Swack! Pow! Right in the kisser! Oh, I wish you could have been there to see me! <laughs> oh, then! Where's Grandpa? Hmm? Oh, I, I think he finally tired himself out from all that uh, jabbering and, and nodded off. <laughs> but uh, do, do you think it's okay to leave it like this? With, with him thinking I was really hurt? Don't worry about it. If we hadn't tricked him, he'd have spent the rest of his life doing nothing but talk. And even if you were faking, that monster wasn't. I don't know how a man like him ever managed to raise a granddaughter as wonderful as you, Realm. Yeah, well I don't know how anyone could be as terrible an actor as you. Strago is probably the one man alive who would fall for a performance like that. What did you say? I feel like I could take on the world. Let's show that clown who's laughing now. All right, we're going in. It's time we took the battle to Kefka's doorstep. What's wrong? The gods of the Roaring Triad control the magic of the Esper world. If we destroy them... You're worried about what might happen? I'm not sure. But... Aspers, and even magic itself can vanish from the world. And if that happens... What'll happen to Terra? The Warring Triad awaits.
We destroyed the Warring Triad. But the power of magic isn't fading like it should be. Could Kefka have extracted the very source of magic from them? Welcome, friends. <laughs> I knew you'd come, so I've been practicing my greeting. <laughs> How much do you have to destroy before you've had your fill, Kefka? I've acquired the ultimate power. Observe. <laughs> Such magnificent power. <laughs> You're nothing more than fleas compared to me now. Embrace your destruction. It is the fate of all. <laughs> to be destroyed? Maybe it is, but people can always rebuild, and new lives will always be born. And time will destroy all of those as well. Why do people insist on creating things that will inevitably be destroyed? Why do people cling to life knowing that they must someday die? Knowing that none of it will have meant anything once they do. Because it's not the end that matters. It's knowing that you have something to live for right now, at this moment. Something you worked for. Something that's worth protecting. As long as you have that, that's enough. And did you find your somethings in this broken world that just won't die? Yes. Love. A person worth protecting. Friends, and family, a peaceful kingdom, a loving brother who always looks out for me, <laughs> someone willing to accept me for who I am, an adorable little granddaughter, an obnoxious grandpa who I couldn't live without. Wings from a dear old friend. New pals, Kubo. These people, all them. Oh! Blah! You people make me sick. You sound like lines from a self-help book. If that's how it's going to be. I'll snuff them all out. Every last one of your sickening, happy, little reasons for living! No, Kefka, stop! Yeah! I wield the greatest power in existence. You may as well be the dirt on the bottom of my boots. Or <laughs> the dirt stuck to the bottom of that dirt. Oh. 
I'll destroy everything. <laughs> I'll create my own empire of death. You can't destroy everything. People will always have dreams. No. <laughs> I'll destroy the entire world. There won't be anything left to dream about. We won't let you hurt any more people. <laughs> But what fun is destruction, if no precious lives are lost? <laughs> it ends here, Kafka. Life, dreams, hope. Where do they come from and where do they go? Such meaningless things. I'll destroy them all. The end draws near. <laughs>